Toy Addicts, it's Jody, and it looks like we are going to get to play with Play-Doh again. Fun! I found this Mop Top Hair Shop by Play-Doh. And if you haven't seen my other video, um, I have a video from the Fuzzy Pumper Hair Salon, which I believe is probably like the 70s version of this one. It just um, has a more um, normal name, like Mop Top Hair Shop. That sounds good. Fuzzy Pumper was an interesting name. This is by Kenner. And let's see if we can, oh, look at that. It's going to be some hair raising fun. And let's see if we can find a year here. Um, I don't see a year when this came out. I bought this from Goodwill and I did pay $1.99. So let's open it up and see what we find in here and what we get to play with. Okay, here's the dude the man the male he's got a nice green sweater vest and a plaid shirt and i'm assuming maybe some jeans and he kind of has a smirk on his face and then we have a play-doh comb And then we have our barber's chair, which looks like it works a little different than the other one. So we'll have to see how this goes. And then we have the lady. She's got a little dress on with a belt and a bow. She actually looks sort of businessy and very happy. Lots of eyelashes. No eyelashes for the boys because you know how boys don't have eyelashes. <laughs> and they're fairly clean inside. You can tell they've been played with, but maybe not a whole lot. Although the chair looks like it's had a whole lot of play. And then we have scissors to cut the hair. Oh, and here's the Toys R Us, original Toys R Us tag, $9.97. We have the hair mold, which is that 80s hairdo. Ladies and guys have this hair, so I think it's going to work for both of them. Then there's an extra mold in here that doesn't go along, but it's also Play-Doh. It looks like a witch's face. Maybe we can put this witch's face on the lady or the guy. And, um, and then we have... Stuff out of the way here so you can see this. We have the play mat. Oops, upside down. So the play mat has like the counter from the barber shop or the salon. It's probably more like a salon than a barber shop. And all the accoutrements. Even has a waiting area. Super cute. Oh, and it has a date on it. 1985. Right, that seems a little more reasonable. And that last one, the Fuzzy Pumper, came out in 78. So you can definitely tell the difference in the boxes from those. If you look at that video, the box is quite a bit different. In the 80s, we had the yellow boxes. And then there's also the instruction booklet in here. So let's take a look at that. So here's what it comes with, male and female heads, okay, barber chair, two cans of Play-Doh, which aren't there, which is good if you also watch that other video, um, Play-Doh that's like 30 years old, looks disgusting. 
uh, hair mold, which we've got, comb and scissors and play mat. So everything's here except for the Play-Doh, which is okay because I bought some. And then we have how to get the chair ready and how to cut his hair into a hipster do and how to give her a nice hairdo and then how to clean it up oh with the back side of the comb up there that's good good deal okay let me get it all set up and then let's play okay it looks like we're ready to go we got our lady and our gentleman here and this gent, he was here first, and he's in a hurry. So we are going to give him a fancy new hairdo. Now, he's had a choice between reddish pink and blue. And he chose blue. Goes with his jeans, you know? You want your hair to match, match your outfit, for goodness sakes. So, um, it's funny, the other day, uh, someone was saying to me, I don't let my kids watch that many YouTube videos anymore because all they're pretty much watching is adults, like, playing with toys. Isn't that weird? <laughs> she didn't know I had a YouTube channel. <laughs> it's like, yeah, weird. <laughs> So, you should have them watch my YouTube channel. <laughs> but now she knows I have a channel and she's a subscriber. So, if you're watching, hi, Jeanette. <laughs> okay, so we got to fill this up to the bottom here. And then we're going to call this guy. Let's see, what should we call him? Fred. Kind of reminds me of Freddy from Scooby-Doo. You slide him into the chair right there. And then, now this, I just had to play with a bunch to get to actually work because there was all kinds of Play-Doh stuck inside. And it's really hard to turn. So we'll see how much hair Fred ends up with here. It would not be good for this to be so hard to turn with kids trying to use it. I don't know if it's just because there's some Play-Doh stuck in there and that's what makes it hard, but it is really stinking hard. Yeah, we're not even close to Fred getting any hair. So I think I'm going to have to go back and I'm going to um, take it back out and maybe soak this in some warm water. See if there's some old Play-Doh stuck in there that needs to get dislodged because I can't make Fred have any blue hair. There's like a little bit starting to come out but I just can't do it. Okay I'll be right back. Okay so I was able to do this like this just um, without Fred in there. So what I'm gonna just do is I'm just gonna push it down and you're not supposed to have to do this but Ta -da! Fred did not much, want much of a hairdo today and it seems like that's all he's getting but he didn't want a beard so we're gonna go ahead and uh Use our little handy dandy scissors here. Take off Fred's beard. There we go, Fred. I'll lead you with a little bit of sideburns, but not much. And there's Fred in his new haircut. Doesn't he look fabulous? So it's Sheila's turn. 
and she's going to go with the pink. She really likes pink, as we can tell. Hopefully we'll get a lot more hair out of Sheila than we got out of Fred, because we have to give Sheila this molding do here. All right, Sheila, let's see what you got here. Sheila has a nice mop top happening here. Look at that. That does look like some very 80s hair, too. Let's see. We'll give her a little bit more. And then I think what we'll do is we'll take her out of her chair. this and we will put it around her head you're really supposed to do this while she's in the chair but maybe if we give her a little more hair fuel here we can through all that again and well first let's just see oh looks like she's got a mohawk on the back here we'll take that off and then yeah now we need more hair okay we'll put her back in oh, oops all right Sheila her all the way to the top of the chair here. So let's let her out a little bit and see how her do came out. See how good of a stylist I am. Okay, let's see what we got here, Sheila. Let's take off your bangs. I don't think you're a bangs girl. Here is Sheila's big reveal. Got a Fix this up a bit. Uh oh, we lost a chunk. I can I can kind of see where uh, her lines and stuff are. She's got her eighties eighties ladies do here. Oh, she's got a little purple in there. Looking good, Sheila. Looking good. But she's got a little bit of color. Mm-hmm. Yep, just like she came out of the 80s lady salon. Okay, guys. Oh, we never cut anyone's hair. Maybe we should cut a little off the back for Sheila here. Her little trim on top. a little off the top for Sheila here. There we go. Maybe it kind of, she was getting a little high in her hair there. Okay guys, thanks for watching. Make sure to comment, like, and subscribe, and I will see ya next time. Bye-bye.